Hi everybody, this is Dave at Life Car Build. It's been a little while. Good to see you again. Uh, today we're going to be doing a power steering pump and a window regulator on this car. Uh, going to be two separate videos. Um, first thing we need to do is, this is a 2008 so it's pretty much the same 2006 through 2011 and I'm not 100% on those years but it's pretty close. Uh, first thing we want to do is take a look at the pump make sure it looks right you can see that it has three bolt holes so we'll be going after those you can also notice it doesn't have a pulley so we have to pull this pulley off it's press fit and I have a tool to do that with I'll show you let me get this put away uh, some of the tools we'll be using is going to be uh, this 10 is going to be, we're going to take the uh, 10 millimeter socket for the uh, overflow tank for the radiator. We're going to take it off and get it out of the way. 13 millimeter is probably what the bolts are to hold the pump on. Uh, so we'll be using a 13. I'll call out any other sizes as I go. If anything changes or if I need more tools. This is the uh, power steering puller, uh, the pump, the pulley puller. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a heads up on how it works real quick. Uh, this piece has a bolt that runs through it and it pushes as it goes through. This goes on the head of that nut and so does this one. And the pulley has a, a lip just like this nut on this tool. So it slides in here as well. And when you clamp it all together and you slide this collar over, it won't open up. And if it won't open up, it'll hang on to what you're pulling on. So it'll hang on to the lip on that pulley. And then when you screw this in, it'll push the pump shaft and pull that pulley right off the shaft. So we'll be using this these are rentable you can rent them at like AutoZone places like that so I'll clean this up a little bit and we'll get started I'll show you what's going on uh, the first thing we want to do we need to get this cover off So this cover right here has got to come off. It just clips on. You just pull. This part's got to come off. You just keep turning the cap until the whole thing turns and that whole thing will come up out of there. Usually it's just the cap comes out of there. But if you hang on to the cap and just keep turning, it'll unscrew that as well. So we need that out of the way. And like I said, this here has posts on the, on the engine they go in here you just lift up it'll just pull off so we'll get this out of the way okay now we're going to remove the uh, the overflow bottle and you really don't have to uh, yep that's loose it's just a cap nut anyway. Keep these where you know where they're going to be. We don't have to remove the hose. I'm, I don't believe so anyway. So, so yeah, we're just going to leave this hose hooked up. And we're just going to set it to the side over here. That's actually kind of low. We'll put some in that. Okay, so now what we need to do is, uh, well, there's 13s that hold that on, but we got to get that belt off first. So let me get ready for that. Yeah, 
Yeah, looks like the uh, the tensioner is down below the alternator. 3 8 ratchet will go right in there. And you're gonna have to lift up on it, so you want the ratchet to work in that direction. Click going down and pull up. Maybe you can slide it off of this. I am pulling. Yeah, watch some things. Holy Jeez. cow. That thing is strong. All right, so we got some 13 millimeter bolts to get out of here. We've got the belt off, so. Yeah, I'm going through the holes of the pulley, taking these 13s out. Okay. There we go. Now, those three bolts are out. This pump should be loose now. So now we just need to get it up out of there. Low pressure side is just a squeeze clip. going to get a little bit messy so you might want to have a tray around or a little tub all right now the high pressure line so 16 or 5 8 they're, they're they're both similar I don't understand why one of them isn't tighter than the other but it is what it is you know see that there you go Okay, so now that the pump is off, we're going to use this pulley puller and we're going to pull it off. So like I said before, it's going to hang on to this lip and it's going to hang on to this lip on the uh, pulley. But what you want is these are these sides are not the same. This is more round than that. See it's more oval. That's the side that goes to the big nut. So put that on with that facing up slide that in hold them together slide this collar on hang on to the nut screw the bolt down now it's in place now we're going to make an attempt with these hand tools to get this loose Okay, so that's done, and I didn't show it all on camera. I gave you the idea of what's going on with the tool. Uh, I actually had to use extra leverage. I put a pipe on the crescent wrench so it would be longer, so I'd have more, more leverage. And I interlocked the wrenches 
to have more leverage. It was quite a fight. You're going to need two people. If you have somebody to help you, that'd be great. But I'll go ahead and show you. That's how I got it off, just the way I showed you. It just wasn't, it wasn't a piece of cake, so I'm not trying to edit that out to tell you that it wasn't. Transparency was. It was pretty hard. So, so now we're going to take the other tool. And this threads into the pump. Okay, so this bolt does. Somebody else used it maybe for a different car with a different pump. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this bolt out. Maybe. It's a little bit boogered. So that's not going to be fun. There we go. Alright, so this bolt's going to go in. See that? The, the other bolt in the kit's going to go in there because it's the one that fits the pump. And we're going to go ahead and run that bolt through quite a bit. We want the bolt to go all the way down inside until it doesn't want to go anymore. We don't want to tighten it, we just want it all the way down. As many threads as possible for strength. So that's where it wants to bottom out. So we'll take that down to that and we'll put it on top of that pulley and press it down. So let me show you. That fits pretty good like it's supposed to. We test fit it a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to screw that down until it bottoms again. It is the one that fits quite well. Right there is where it wants to bottom. So we're going to screw this nut down until it touches. We're going to make sure that this pulley is straight. Now you're going to hang on to this nut with a wrench and you're going to turn this nut clockwise it's going to push it down on these threads and it's going to push that pulley back on that shaft. So that's next. Let's go ahead and do that. Let me find the right size wrench. That's a 9 16 wrench on this particular one. So now we're going to hang on to the bolt and we're going to turn the nut. And as the nut moves down those threads, it's going to push the pulley down on that shaft. So, just like that is how you're going to do it. So I'll go ahead and finish this. It doesn't look like it's going too bad. They get a little stuck when they've been on there for years, you know. So that's probably why it was harder to get off. So we're going to finish this up and I'll be right back. Okay, so we got that done and you want to make sure that you turn this nut until it actually stops. You want this pulley to go all the way on until it bottoms out. Then once that's done, you loosen it up a little bit, go ahead and pull the bolt back out of the pump, and there you go. Now we're going to put the uh, high pressure side back on and get it back up in place. Then we'll feed the uh, low pressure side back on. Then we got three bolts, the belt, and we're done. Put stuff back together. 
So it's getting late tonight, so I'll be back first thing in the morning. We'll finish this up. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and put this pump back on. After I was done with the tool, what you'll see is uh, this is flush. That's why we turned that nut down until it stopped, because when it stopped is when it hit this, the inner shaft. So that makes it flush. That's where you want it to be. I changed the hose over, put the hose on. Now I'm about ready to put the high pressure line on and set it back in place. When it's all said and done, I want the uh, I want this right here, this part of the loop, to be straight up and down with the with the reservoir. make sure it's tight now we're ready to set it back down in place get the low pressure line back on okay that's down in place clean up this little bit of mess I made pressure line there we go there we go so now we're going to get these three bolts back in Okay, those are tight. That little clip back where it goes. Put our cap on there. We gotta fill it too, so. Yeah, don't overfill these too much. You have to start it up, turn the steering wheel left and right. It'll drink some of the fluid top it off and you're good to go okay guys on the belt the last thing you want to do is guarantee that the belt is all the way on all the pulleys if not it will shred the belt so we don't want that happening 
and this looks good so at this point we can put this back put these two cap nuts back on And don't tighten these cap nuts too tight. It's just not necessary. Snug them down, call it good. Get the cover back on. Let me back you up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get this cover to snap back on where it belongs. Now, I'm going to top off the fluids, and this is a done deal. There you go, guys.